Welcome back to the land of adventure and mystery. It's time to open the gates for these strange new visitors to tell a new story to, for all to hear. Now let's the adventure begin. Chapter 14, Blocked. After we woke up and left the inn, me and Laura and Robert all decided to go eat at the tavern. As we found the tavern, I saw the sexy cat from the burnt village across from the tavern. The cat disappeared behind a bus. I walked inside. Hey, King Sai, it's nice to see you around these parts. I think the travel keeper from behind the divider. Just give me a bowl of soup and a breadstick. Sit, sit down on a wooden stool. Well, okay. Queen Laura, you want your new friend. There you can go in the back and choose what you want to eat. Sit down. Just the tavern keeper. Just take the first basket of breadsticks and put it in front of me. Thank you, Pop. Um, let's go see what they have. So Lord, as her and Robert disappeared in the back. Spud gave a bowl of hot soup. Yes. Sai. Sai, your highness. Sai, your highness. Why do you always drink soup and eat bristles like most peasants do when, when they come in? When they come in here. Well... Back in the modern world, my family struggled with money. So we can only afford breadsticks and soup to eat. Until my mom died, we came to this place. Soup and breadsticks became a way of remembering my mom. So, as I finished off the last breadsticks. Wow. Wow. That was a story, but I have to tell you. My mom just said you're one of the kindest ones he ever served. Said Pub as I finished my bowl of soup. Well, thanks for the compliments, Pub. It's like, got out of my stool. As we began to walk out of the tavern, I noticed Chief Wingo with the two elder girls in, in the back corner. Hey, Chief Wingo! Hey, Chief Wingo! Ted and Hank are doing fine. So there, as I sat next to the older, to the older trolls, to the older trolls. Well, yes, I know how I can handle anything, even the dark remnants of Darnabell, on my elders' journey. So she wingo, she got out from his chair. Speaking of the elders, speaking of the elders, what is it even about? I asked in a curious tone. You should know. The boys of Troll turns 100 years old. They, they start an elder journey to find a new purpose. Said the first elder troll as they both got up from their chairs. A troll can only can only live to a thousand years, even though no troll has ever made it that far. Due to external conflicts, the second elder troll as they both. As both the elder trolls slamming the staff to the ground, <laughs> then a bright golden light surrounds them both. Surrounds both of them. The two elder trolls turn into to the twin sorcerers. And Laura and Laura and Laura came out the back. Telesi, Telesi. Yes, Laura and Simon. Who is Telesi and Telesi? Thanks, Robert, and confusion. They're the most known sorcerers of all time. Thanks to, thanks to Valdor, of course. Yes, we know of Valdor. I can see Thomas. I this guy spell to keep a see from the more violent humans, said the lassie, as he shattered the light illusion. Wait, I'm a vi Wait, am I a violent human? I'm sorry about Bellevue. Thanks, Robert, in a nervous breakdown. No, Robert, you are not a violent person. You are, you are pure or even clumsy. As long as you keep your pure heart, you will not become corrupted by wealth or power. So, as all three trolls disappeared in a golden light, 
Let them. I mean, it's not off a pickup. Golden. A golden medallion. Champions of light must stick together. Throne put the medallion in his pocket. A lure of heat pub, and we left the tavern. So we left the Ulster Kingdom. I wonder. Will we make it in time before King Zeras and eats the Eastern Kingdom? Sir, sir, can I have one one of your marbles? The Lord, as I gave one from my pocket, the Lord took the marble and said, King Henry, King Henry, there is a war coming. But the marble glowed blue and flew away. I didn't know. I didn't know how you guys did that without talking, asked Robert, and I confused him. Well, me and Laura have been married for 20 years, at least, as, as a little nervously took her head. I, I didn't really, I don't really know the rules of this very strange world, but say you've only been gone for 20 hours, said Robert, as dark moss surrounded him. It, it doesn't matter if it's been 20 hours. For 20 years, because you would never stop the king. You'd never stop King Zaraz. <laughs> said the disembodied voice of Dark Val as he carries Robert deeper into the spooks. Into the spooks forest. The place where the ancient fairies died. Mem says that you can still hear the spirits of the ancient fairies in the spooks forest. I don't know if it's true or not, because myths and lessons go hand to hand in this world. As, as me and Laura fought the dark moths, we went into two statues. The first statue is of a dark and cold dragon hunter, with the name General Varun carved on the left side of his chest. While the second statue is of a beautiful and majestic young fairy with the name Princess Ellipses carved in her voice. At the bottom of their feet was the words, and beloved memory of the golden heart, the golden hearted founder, Valer, engraved in a stone plaque. The main lore followed a dark moth into a giant cave, which used to be the very kingdom, which was in the underground caverns river, Canaveris River. Instead of the river being blue, like in the mural of the Newton's cathedral. It was black. Sighting Lord. Sighting Lord. used to know that this is the place where the fairy queen cursed everyone into stone. So dark Val, as he punched the wall, which revealed a dozen of scared faces frozen in time. Speaking of curses, I wonder how your friend might do in the dark waters. <laughs> It felt as Robin was hovering over water, but one moth by one slowly flew away from under him. Sai, the black river has a dark remnant inside of it. It's alert in a panic tone. It's the closer of dark moths get smaller, but every minute I waste, but the pull of light will out of my pocket most. Hopefully. Hope. Hopefully. This will work. As I threw the gleaming white crystal to Robert. Blasting white light covered the whole cave. As the light faded. There was no more dark moss any, anywhere in the cave. Instead, there was one singular white moth that grew to the size of a jungle moth. Thank you so much, Sai, for freeing me from my dark desires, said the voice of Val, coming from the book as it flew deep into the cave. As falling moths concealed its path, meaning more. Robert out in the dark water unaffected. As he walked out of the cave and passed the statue, Robert uncloses his hands, which reveals a dark remnant in his left hand. Nice, Robert. You managed to get the dark remnant from the river. In a sad excitement, as it swiped into my pocket. Wait, dark remnant? Am I going to become evil? Sigh, said Robert in a nervous sweat. Of course not, Robert. You're pure heart, and as long as you keep it, as long as you keep it, you will never become dark. 
Does that mimic, mimic what the swan sorcerer said? Maybe the water might turn back to normal later on, said Lord. In a way, that he just forgot what happened. But only time can tell. As, as we keep, keep on walking through, through the forest. Hit the subscribe, like button, notification bell, and buy my book over the Amazon.